Bobblehead dolls often feature athletes and other celebrities, but one law professor came up with a supremely original idea. Jan Crawford is in Washington. Jan, you do cover the court for us, right? So this includes that? Uh, <laughs> yes, and I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, most people when they think about the court aren't thinking about bobbleheads, which, you know, I've got a few right here. Uh, well, once you take a look at this, Nora, Charlie, you're going to see the justices a little differently. Here's how most people see Supreme Court justices, somber and serious, wearing those black robes. But here's how a Washington, D.C. law professor imagined them, as bobbleheads. A Supreme Court bobblehead, that's kind of strange. Only to the extent that you think that the Supreme Court can only be serious. A baseball scholar who, as a boy, had a Cleveland Indians bobblehead, Professor Ross Davies came up with the idea about 10 years ago. At first, there were skeptics. I teach law, and at the time uh, I did this, uh, I went to my dean, who's a very good-humored fella, and said, uh, I'm going to produce a bobblehead of Chief Justice Rehnquist. And he said, that's fine, uh, but I don't want to have anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> but the late Chief Justice was flattered and sent Davies a thank you note. The collection now includes nine current or recent justices, and demand is high. But they're not for sale. You can only get one by subscribing to the academic legal journal, The Green Bag. And then, when one is released, you have to pick it up in person. It is an absolutely Byzantine process in a world where you're used to clicking on a website to get things delivered to your doorstep. But San Francisco lawyer Rob James jumps through the hoops. If you happen to come at the right time, uh, and there happens to be someone there, and there happens to be a bobblehead, you can walk off with your prize. Each bobblehead is almost a mini history lesson. Justice O'Connor, she has a, a steer there, yes. cowgirl. Yeah, yes, yeah, she grew up on a ranch in, in Arizona and has been uh, quite forthright in some of her writings about the influence of her upbringing on her work as a judge and as a public servant. Others have symbols representing their key cases. So, you know, Justice Souter, we think of him as kind of this reclusive figure from New Hampshire, but he's got the bling. It's a, it's a contrast between his sort of public persona and some of his work. The bling represents a copyright case he wrote that involved two live crew. The lifeguard chair symbolizes a sex discrimination case that involved, of course, lifeguards. The newest bobblehead is Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That looks like Justice Ginsburg. Sometimes the artist captures someone. You look at a painting or you look at a bobblehead and, oh my gosh, it's them. Now, the feedback from the justices has been pretty positive. Davey says they know these are caricatures and they're not mean characters. Next up is Justice Stephen Breyer. He's going to be something of a first because as someone who likes to cycle, he's going to be on a bike. I'm not sure, Charlie and Nora, how that's going to work with his uh, black robe, but I'm sure they're going <laughs> to figure it out. So he, who's there? I see um, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's in the middle. Yeah, she's in the middle. And doesn't it look like her? And yeah. then this, of course, is Clarence Thomas. And this is an older one, Harry Blackman. He was a baseball fan, but, you know, represents uh, the bat. And there's a ball that goes with it that I don't have. But uh, that represents some of his cases, too. All right, Jan, thank you.